Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the dumbest tech that I own. And yes, I know I need a haircut, so you don't need to let me know down in the comments below. Thanks though. And I just wanna clarify something. Just because I call something dumb doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It's just that I think it's like really stupid and just doesn't really have much of a purpose. And so first on our list of dumbest things that I own, technology edition, we have the selfie stick. Now, this is actually a really good selfie stick. Um, this is the EC Technology selfie stick. I actually reviewed this a while back and it's, it's top of the line selfie stick if that even exists. But what I consider dumb about selfie sticks is just how they're used and how they're just, just, just the, the whole thing in general. And especially those $5 specials that you get when you're checking out at a store and they say, buy your own selfie stick for $5. It's guaranteed to break within a week. Those are really dumb and they're built like garbage and just don't even waste your money on such a thing. I see news reporters with selfie sticks going out on the news, on the scene, and they're reporting like this. Tyler Miller reporting at the latest scene of a truck full of pigs that has overturned on the highway, more at 11. And you could tell that you could like see the selfie stick. I hate that so much. I think it's the stupidest thing. Like I understand the idea of it. Like, you know, I'm gonna take a selfie like with me and my friends, but the way they market is like, you carry this around with you all the time. Who carries this around with them all the time? Not me. Now the next thing that I have is probably the coolest thing that I have, <laughs> like the coolest thing I have in general. It's the electric fly swatter. Do not be fooled. This is not a toy. And I'm not gonna touch this on camera because I've done it one time already when I got this. Let me tell you, it is painful. And that's part of the reason why it's so dumb. Okay, you. this is a fly swatter. I have regular fly swatters from like the stone age where you just, you smack the fly and you kill it. Why do you have to then and go fry it and electrocute it into oblivion? It takes a special kind of person to sit at home and think, okay, we got a fly zapper that we hang outside. We got a fly swatter that we swing and smack stuff. Why don't we combine the two and make a deadly weapon that just obliterates anything that it comes in contact with? That's what this does. I just need to put this down before I hurt myself. Okay, and last but not least, by any means, is this stupid product that I just hate with a passion, the wax vac. I'm sure y'all have seen that commercial where the guy has the Q-tip in his ear, he's like, oh my gosh. That's a bunch of baloney because it doesn't hurt if you are smart about it. Um, and then they go on to say, use the wax vac instead of that because it's better for you and it works. You're supposed to take this off and you know, it comes with all these wonderful little color of silicone shields or whatever, just in case you wanna, each, every person in their family wants to use the wax vac. You take the silicone sleeve, slip it over this thing. I feel like I'm like the doctor's office or something. Put this back on. Will it, will it go? Are you gonna work? No, okay, yeah. Push that there. Not much wax, not much vac whenever you use the wax vac. And so basically what you're supposed to do is stick in your ear like this. You're not supposed to stick it in too much. Um, I have not used the cleaner on my ear. So why does it feel like my eye's watering? Is it pulling my eye out of its socket? And then you're supposed to take this off and you're supposed to look, you know, is there anything in here? No, nothing in there. Okay. Oh, here's our filter. There's probably something in our filter. Nope, nothing in the filter. This thing doesn't work. And then what makes it even better is that they uh, bother to include a little light that it basically does absolutely nothing. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, are you supposed to have a friend that does this for you? That's like, here, hold hold your ear. I'm gonna try to shine a light in there that's barely bright. Like, what is this for? Like, to see around at night? It don't light nothing up. This just doesn't make sense to me. This product is a waste of two of my much needed rechargeable double A batteries. For now though, I'm gonna save my batteries. I'm gonna stick them under my Lego TIE Fighter. I'm gonna take this wax vac and I'm just gonna drop it on the ground because it's a piece of garbage. And I like to give an honorable mention. I don't own this product, but the Apple Magic Mouse, the latest one that got released, is quite possibly the dumbest product ever designed by Apple. I know there's a lot of strong competition with the app, Apple Pencil that you have to stick in the iPad to charge it, which is a stupid. Uh, but to charge the Apple Magic Mouse, you have to flip it over. Now I'm gonna take my uh, Logitech MX Master, which is a much better mouse. Here's your Magic Mouse, we're gonna pretend. You have to flip the mouse over, plug in a cable in the bottom, and that's how the mouse charges. 
makes no sense. Why did my computer just turn on? It turned on because I touched the mouse. Duh. Like, no, that makes no sense. How are you supposed to use the thing? Yeah, I know it charges for two minutes. You can use it for an hour, whatever. But if your mouse, you're in the middle of doing something and you need to use your mouse and it dies, you have to say, okay, flip it over, charge it. Now I have to wait to use it again. That's the stupidest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Definitely the stupidest thing of 2015. Okay, maybe not the stupidest thing I've seen in my life because I've seen a lot of stupid things. And so let me know what's the dumbest thing, dumbest piece of tech, dumbest piece of tech you've ever seen, heard about, whatever. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm curious to see what kind of dumb things that people own um, that they might work, but they're just completely dumb. And just why do they exist? That's my thoughts behind especially the wax vac. And also, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. And also subscribe for more videos from me and make sure you check out all the social links that are all in the description below. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this, maybe the coolest tech that I own or the dumbest whatever that I own. Um, I'm open to pretty much whatever. And so if you guys want to see it, let me know down in the comment section below. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.